Once the exterior materials have been adjusted, the next thing we should do is add people to our scene. To do this, we can come over to the left-hand side, click on the Objects button, select on the picture of a person walking, this is the People and Animals button, then select on Change Object. When you do this, you'll get a listing of different people that you can place into the scene. In this instance, we have a group of men wearing different clothes. There's also options going across the top here on each of these tabs for women, boys, and girls. All these are 3D objects. You can do pets, birds, farm animals, and a variety of other kinds of shapes to indicate people that may or may not be three-dimensional. In this instance, though, we do want to place in some three-dimensional people so that when we're looking at this in the scene, no matter which view that we're taking, we'll see a three-dimensional person standing there and enjoying our beautiful building. In this instance, the first thing I'd like to do is place a person that's going to be sitting in our hot tub. So he should have a bathing suit on. On the second gray button that's here, we can see some guys that are walking around or sitting around with bathing suits. Select on the second man, man Caucasian 10 seated. You'll see where he's going to get placed at based off of this yellow box. And now put him down at the same level as where the hot tub is. And then click when it looks like he's going to be in the hot tub. When he gets placed, we'll see that he may not be in the exact orientation we want him to be in. And that's okay, we can just click on the rotate heading button down below. Click and hold our mouse button down on this circular shape there. And now move the mouse and then drag him around accordingly so that he's facing in an appropriate direction. If for some reason he's sitting on top of the water, and I think that my guy is sitting on top of the water, we can also change the height at which he's been inserted in. If you click on the change height button, click on him, now pull him down inside of the water. Let's add a woman into this scene and have her inside of this hot tub as well. Select on Change Object. Come up here to Woman 3D. We'll find one of the women in bathing suits. One of these might work, but let's see if we can find one that's sitting down. Here we have a picture of a woman Caucasian 9 who's seated. We'll place her in the hot tub as well. So go through the same process. Move over here. Click to place the woman in the scene. She's actually in the right direction, but she's still sitting on top of the water. So we need to change the height of the woman by clicking on the Change Height button, clicking on the dot, and now pulling the mouse so that she's now sitting down inside of the water. I'd like to add three more people. Two of them will be children, and then one will be standing up here on this upper deck area on the balcony. So once again, we're going to select on Change Object. In this case, I'd like to put another woman in the scene. And we'll select on this gray button. And I don't care which woman it is that you choose, but choose one of these women that's either standing or walking so that we can place her in the scene. I'm going to select on this woman Asian. And I'm going to move up here. And one of the things that you may notice is that as you're moving around, these people like to stand on the surface that you place them on. If there's not a surface there, they may try to drop down onto a surface that they can stand on. This makes it convenient when you're trying to place these people inside of Lumion. Just be careful though, because you could accidentally place them standing on top of a railing, and unless you want to see them diving off of a railing, that's probably not a good place for them. In this case, I'm going to pull her back toward where that door is at, and I'm going to click, and now she's placed into the scene. She needs to be rotated around. I'm going to use the rotate heading button, and now I'm going to click on her, spin this around, and have her looking out toward the front of the building. Now we need to place two children in. Same process. Go to Change Object. In this case, I'm going to select on the tab that has Boy 3D and pick one of these boys off of the list. I'll pick this Boy Caucasian 002 Idle. Idle means is that it doesn't look like his legs are moving, so he doesn't look like he's walking through the scene. He can just be standing there looking in this direction. I think that that's a good place for him. And I'm going to do Change Object one last time, select on Girl 3D, and pick one of the girls off of the list. Girl Caucasian 002 will be fine. I'll place her next to the boy. I'd like to rotate her around just a little bit more so it looks like she's looking toward the hot tub. So once again, use the Rotate heading to spin her around. 
And if you wanted to put animals or other people into the scene, you'd use the same process. Go to the correct tab, select them off of the available options, and then place them into the scene.